wanna Spend what you wanna Be who you wanna be We all stand up Alrighty, so I have a hot cup of matcha green tea, but that's what we're sipping on today. I did do my brows before I got on camera because I don't know why, I guess because I was nervous. The last thought that I have of me filming a get ready with me, like an actual sit down get ready with me, I believe I was in high school and it was like one of my old, super old channels. I'm so glad that channel is like private now, thank God. But yeah, so I was kind of nervous. So honestly, the brows were giving me a hard time because I just think I was just super nervous. Like, I don't know. But I'm gonna tell y'all. What I use for my brows is very like, girl, what? Like, why would you put that on your brows? But listen, it works for me, okay? It works for me. So if you watch my hygiene, um, come shop with me video, you've seen this eyeliner. I use liquid eyeliner on my brows to do my brows. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Now listen, the thing that you will notice about me is I tend to do my own thing when it comes to makeup. Like it'll be like, this is a lip brush and I'm using a lip brush as a concealer brush. Like I don't do, I don't use stuff the way that they're supposed to be used all the time. So yeah, so this is the brows. I don't mind having black eyebrows. I don't mind them looking, I guess you could say Sharpie-ish. Like I don't mind that kind of look. That's just me personally. But yes, I use eyeliner for my brows. I just like the thinness and I'm able to kind of like create little hairs. Today they don't look the best, but I can make them look like really hair-like. Like I can draw it really hair-like and I like that fact. And I know that there's brow pencils out there where you can actually do that. But I don't know, I just feel like this is a cute little bang for your buck. Like you got an eyeliner and you got something to do your brows with. Like, I don't know, but that's just me personally. Anyways, I'm already chatting too much. I'm gonna go in with this palette. We're gonna do the eyes next. This is the Nicole Miller Brunch Made Me Do It palette. I've had this palette for a while now. I honestly need to go makeup shopping. Like it's quite ridiculous. Um, I'm gonna go in with the color. I've been liking this color called Waffles. I'm just gonna show y'all the palette, okay? I think the color is right here. Yeah, I'm gonna go on with this color. This honestly feels super duper weird. I feel like a beauty guru, like honestly. I'm not gonna lie, this palette is not the best. Um, the shadows, I don't know, like they don't really, they don't really show up the way that I would like them to show up. Like they're very powdery, I would say, if that makes sense. So this is, I don't really like, I'm not a huge fan of this palette. It's just one of those things where this is kind of all I have right now. So this is like, you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Let me know down below, are you like a brows first kind of girl? Or are you a brows last kind of girl? I'm definitely the brows first. Like I just can't, I've tried to do my makeup. Like I tried to do my makeup first and then like end it off with the brows and it just don't be giving for me. Like, I don't know, I just can't do it. Like, I don't know why. I need to put the brows first. I feel like the brows just kind of make your face. Like it, it shape your face. Like I need to see what's going on, you know? I'm going with this next color. It's called Cocktail and Bloody Mary. It's literally these two colors that are like almost gone. You guys have to forgive me. This is my first time filming a Get Ready With Me, like I said, in a while. So I'm definitely a rookie and I'm not trying to be a makeup guru at all. Like literally at all. I'm just kind of, I just kind of do what works for me. I am in desperate need of some more makeup palettes. Like I need more makeup in general. I need new makeup brushes. I need new makeup products. Like honestly, I don't have a lot of makeup products and I need more, like I want more eyeshadow palettes. Like I need everything. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. I was gonna put on my eye patches. I was supposed to have been put these eye patches on. Honestly, I'm just trying to be cute. Like. Ooh, I love when an eye patch is like super, when it has like a lot of product on it, like the essence, I guess is what it's called. I love when it has a lot of the product on there. Next, I'm gonna go in with my She Glam Glitch Out palette. She Glam actually sent me their whole collection, their whole glitch out line. So this is the palette, this is what the colors look like. And I'm actually going to be using this color right here to do my my eyeshadow now i've been really obsessed with this look i love this freaking color like, i did not even tell you guys where i'm going today like why i'm even getting dressed up so today me and my mom are going to a comedy club 
we have been going to comedy shows i would say for the past few weekends i think we didn't go to one last weekend but this weekend we are going to a show and i'm super excited i love going to comedy shows now like now it's like the thing to do the people actually emailed me and they gave me free tickets they're like hey we have some free tickets would you like to go to another show and i'm like uh yes please like sign me up how many more minutes do we have with this eye mask because girl i'm ready to move on i'm gonna go ahead and remove the eye patches they feel so freaking good i'm not even gonna lie to you they feel amazing but i don't have enough time okay so next i'm gonna go ahead and put on my sunscreen girl you need sunscreen like if you're not wearing sunscreen especially on your face i don't know what you're doing this is specifically for the face so yeah this is 30 spf we're gonna put her on green don't forget your neck ladies but yeah i'm really looking forward to the show tonight i feel like it's gonna be good now the only thing about this show and the reason why i'm getting dressed super early okay i really od'd with the wing like girl don't you think you kind of you kind of extended that wing a little bit didn't you yeah i did you guys are like making me nervous like you're staring at me right now and it's just making me super nervous the thing about this show tonight is that it does start at 4 p.m and typically me and my mom like to go to later shows just because it's a 21 and up crowd um the show at 4 p.m anybody can go like well not anybody you have to be like 18 and up to go so we typically don't like going to these types of shows but granted we've never been to a show where 18 year olds was in there but I don't know. I just don't really like the younger crowd, even though I'm 24, you guys. I'm only 24 years old. So I'll just be like, I don't know. I don't want to be around 18, 19. I mean, it's no shade to y'all, but sometimes I just remember myself at that age. And, you know, but like I said, this is a free show. So it's like, girl, you can't really complain too much. Like, <laughs> You can't really complain like it's free 99 the only thing that we have to pay for is our food and drink of course okay so now we're gonna do foundation the foundation that i like to wear is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless this is in the color spicy brown 338 i love this foundation let me know down below which foundation do you use i want to like i said i want to pick up some different makeup i really want to try new makeup that i haven't tried before um so let me know i don't know i typically just kind of stick to the same types of foundations and stuff but i really like this one i like the way that it blends it out it just looks really nice i like the way it covers up my blemishes and my marks okay, the foundation is blended i've never noticed how it looks on camera like on camera it's giving me very orangey vibes like i feel like a oompa loompa but don't worry at the end of this i will look l i will look a-okay so these are the um concealers that i use i use two so i use one that's like closer to my skin tone and then i use one that's like super light um as you can see like i said i'm running out of makeup products i'm literally scraping the bottles and scraping my palettes for every little bit of makeup that i have but it's okay we're gonna go makeup shopping i really want to go makeup shopping in ulta um, and I really want to film it for you guys. I don't know if you guys will be into that. So like instead of like come hygiene shopping with me, it'll be like come makeup shopping. I want to do like a huge makeup shop though. Like I literally, I want to do a huge one. Oh yeah. Also side note, Valentine's Day is, I feel like this year is kind of flowing by fast. Like when I think about it, I'm like, wasn't it just New Year's? Like it was literally just New Year's. And now I feel like it's almost valentine's day like that's insane to me like that's literally insane i feel like this year is already flying by and i feel like my birthday is gonna be coming up soon like i'm gonna be 25 in march by the way my birthday is march 30th i'm an aries for those of you who are into the star sign thing i like it but i'm not like oh my gosh if you're this sign i'm not gonna date you like let me know down below if you're that way like if you're into the signs i think they're cool i think they're interesting but i'm not like by the book like oh i do this because i'm an aries or oh i act like this like i don't do that i'm just like yeah i'm an aries i just feel like this year is going by super duper fast i'm just like wait can we slow down just a bit like i don't even have a valentine and valentine's day is coming up like i don't appreciate it <laughs> i don't appreciate that i'm single as of right now and i'm definitely single by choice because i feel like y'all i'm telling you like these guys 
they just don't be doing it for me i don't know like i try and i try and i try you know i conversate i go on the dates and i'm just like bro like and i feel like too sometimes okay i'll tell you guys this my problem as of right now is i have a problem with doubling back like if i talk to somebody and like we really didn't go anywhere like it, it didn't go anywhere we didn't like i don't know like we never even did anything like we just talked and then we just stopped talking or something happened where like it just didn't work out and this person comes back in my life i'm like the person that will double back i'm like you know like yeah like let's try it out let's try it again and i'm like girl you block this person or you stop talking to the person for a reason like why are you doubling back like let me know do you guys have that problem sometimes for me i do with specific people i will double back i'm like you know what why not reply and then i end up texting them back and i'm like and they'll do something or say something and i'm like this is why i stopped talking to you the first time but then i'm mad at myself because i'm like why would you double back anyway girl like you being new that so i don't know y'all but that's my problem as of right now i have the tendency to double back especially when i feel like we have unfinished business like if i feel like we didn't really get a true chance to test it out. I'm like, let's double back. Or I all of a sudden have amnesia as to why I cut you off the first time. And it's like, girl, stop doing that. Like, you want quality, you have to let go of the trash, okay? You have to let go of the trash. Stop trying to go back to a place that no longer serves you. Stop trying to go back to people that no longer serves you. Like, you have been there. You have done that. We passed that now. Like, it's time for you to grow, you know? It's time for you to grow, sis. So, I'm working on standing my ground, meaning what I say. If I cut you off the first time, you're cut. Like, you're cut. I don't know. I'm very weird. Like, some people, I'm like, you're done. Like, you're done. And I'm never doubling back on you. And then there's some people where I'm like, you're done. But then they come back around. I'm like... Hmm. I, I think about it and I'm like what the heck like why do I do that and I know sometimes as women we do that like we tend to give chances like chance after chance after chance and it's like while you're over here giving the same guy the same trash of a guy a chance there's somebody out there that's like waiting that's better for you but you're never gonna meet that person because you're too busy entertaining the trash you keep taking the same trash out that you've been taking out why would you bring that same trash back in your house like you took it out for a reason why are you still entertaining that so while you still doing that you ain't gonna be able to find your person you get what i'm saying like so i don't know i just feel like for me okay i feel like i just like overdid it with the powder like i kind of blacked out i don't know what the hell like i don't know i just started talking and talking and talking and the next thing you know i'm applying a bunch of powder i just girl forgive me like jesus christ girl jesus christ i'm feeling like michael jackson but yeah i don't know i just feel like that's where i'm at and then it's like i feel like i'll talk to a guy and then it's just oh like it just don't hit like i feel like people don't want relationships no more like i feel like people don't want relationships like a lot of people just want the sneaky link they just want to just have fun and just have no strings attached and i'm just not here for it like I don't have a sneaky link. I'm not here for the sneaky links. I'm not here for none of that. Like, honestly, I'm not. If I could have it my way, like if I could have it the way that I want it to go, the way that I would want it to go is to be with my person, be in a relationship, and eventually get married. Like, you know. But I guess dating nowadays is just kind of like black. And it's crazy because people will look at me and they're like, how are you single? And I'm like, are you not out here dating are you not like how are you how are you single let me ask you you asking me how am i still single better yet how are you still single and better yet why are you worrying about why i'm single <laughs> like that's how i feel i'm like are you not out here dating are you not are you not out here dating is it just me am i the one that's just having the troubles like the thing is it's not the quantity of guys getting guys like to chat with that's not the problem the problem is not the quantity the problem is the quality it's the quality of guys for me like i just i just i don't know it's just like i don't understand like what part of me gave booty call vibes 
what part of me gave hit me up late at night and let's just have fun like am i not giving i want relationship vibes like am i not giving that vibe i don't know because i just keep getting these people that are just like yeah, i'm not looking for nothing serious and i respect that i respect the guys that are honest okay i respect that but i'm just like well maybe like am i giving off a vibe that i just want to have fun am i giving girls just want to have fun vibe like no i want to give off wifey relationship vibes i don't know that's my little rant about relationships right now and dating i don't even know how i got on this topic how did we get here how did we get here like, how did I start talking about dating? I don't know. I feel like when I watch this video back, I'm gonna be like, dang, like, I feel like I use a lot of powder. Like, right now, I feel like I'm using a lot of powder. And I probably am. Okay, so now we're applying some blush. This is by LA Colors. Um, what color is this? This is in the color Toast. I think I got this from the dollar store. I'm gonna be completely honest. I believe I got this from the dollar store. And it's gray. Let me know if you like blush down below i freaking love blush i feel like blush is just like i need it i need her um okay so the last thing i'm gonna show you guys is my highlighter and then we're just gonna like speed this up i'm gonna do my mascara put on some lashes and then we're gonna go to the hair because this video is like already getting long and i was not thinking it was gonna be this long but i'm gonna go in with the glitch out palette and i'm actually gonna use that same color that i used on my eyes i'm gonna use that as my highlighter again when it comes to makeup, girl, I just be doing whatever the hell I want to do, okay? Like, who says I can't use this as my highlighter? I love that. Like, I freaking love it. I feel like it looks so gorge. It's so pretty. I typically use my finger, but I've been using the fan brush, and I like the way that the fan brush looks better. Like, I feel like it just gives me that cute little glow. I love it. Like, I love it. And I'm not one of those people who are like, oh my gosh, this highlighter doesn't go with my skin tone girl i don't care if it looks cute i'm wearing it like i don't care some people are like oh that's too light for your for your skin tone you should use like a gold highlighter girl if i want to use a white highlighter i'm gonna do that so now we're gonna move on to the fun part i am finally going to be doing my hair um let me actually do my lipstick really quick because i feel like my lips look non-existent <laughs> so i use like a brown um this is actually an eyeliner i use a brown eyeliner and then I'm going to go in with the She Glam lip glosses. Like I said, She Glam actually sent me their whole glitch out line. So they have a pink and green one. The pink one is in the color Reboot. And then the green one is in the color .com. So cute. Um, so I'm going to put the pink one on first. I really like these glosses. They're super pretty. Very creamy. Very pigmented. And I use the green one as like a topper. Because it has like sparkles in it. And it's just super pretty. So see that? just a cute little topper gloss now we can get into doing my hair my hair honestly looks crazy right now um so this is the curls from when i curled it these are old curls um doesn't look bad like it doesn't look terrible but my hair definitely needs to be washed pretty soon i will be filming a hair care routine video but yeah, my hair doesn't look that bad. I curled it a few days ago and it actually still looks pretty good. I wasn't sure if I wanted to wand curl my hair again um, or if I wanted to crimp my hair. I kind of feel like I wanted to crimp it, but I'm like, it kind of looks good with the wand curls. And if I'm being honest with you guys, I probably would have just left my hair like this. But because I said I was going to do my hair in this video, I don't know. I'm kind of like, this doesn't look bad. Like... I thought my hair was going to look worse when I was taking it out of that bun. She definitely needs to be combed. That's for sure. But she doesn't look bad. I kind of like it. Dang. What should I do, you guys? I don't know what I should do. Should I leave my hair like this? With the old waves? Or should I... With the old curls? Or should I crimp it? I already have my crimping iron on and everything. Like, this looks freaking good. It looks like I literally just did my hair. And I did it. <laughs> That's crazy. I just took it out of a bun. Um, but yeah, I will be doing a hair care routine. My hair is like kind of oily at the top. Um, a little, my scalp is a little bit itchy. It literally looks like I just did my hair. I'm kind of mad about that. Like, I love that for me. But I also kind of don't love that for the video. Like, I thought we were gonna do the things. This looks pretty like this. You guys, this literally sucks. Like, I hate this. 
you know what for the sake of the video for the sake of me doing my hair i'm gonna crimp it but honestly if i wasn't doing this video i probably would have left my hair as it is not gonna lie um but for the sake of the video just so i can kind of do some sort of styling to it i'm gonna go ahead and crimp it i'm gonna go ahead and crimp it so we're gonna go ahead and put some heat protectant in my hair i just used the tresemme heat protectant i'm not gonna even lie to you guys i don't always use heat protectant <laughs> If I remember, I'll use it. The only time I really ever use heat protectant, like intentionally, like is when I straighten my hair. When I straighten my hair, like fresh, freshly wash and silk press my hair, I use heat protectant. But after that, it's a hit or a miss. So I don't use heat protectant every single time I put heat to my hair, which is not the best, but I'm just being honest. I don't. It's just one of those things. If I remember, I remember. If I don't, I don't. I am going to speed this next part up of me like actually doing my hair but yeah because it's really going to be super repetitive and I talked enough in this video so yeah I just divided my hair made a little section as you guys can see it's not too thick just enough and I'm just going to go ahead and crimp it I'm put on some music too while I do this but yes let's get to doing my hair to ice spice ep i kind of like it no shade i kind of like it a lot um you guys let me know if you heard ice spices um ep and if you're feeling a vibe here's my hair here's my makeup i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of glad that i did the crimps like the crimps look super good these crimps look crisp honey okay you see that like get into the crimps um i did my edges okay i don't really call these baby hairs because they're literally edges i don't think i have baby hairs did my little sideburn i love a good sideburn moment but yes, it's so cute. I do want to quickly tell you guys the products that I use. Um, well, the crimping iron. I got this crimping iron. It's by Ion. I got it from Sally's like a long time ago. And I had it on 390 degrees. I know that might be a lot for some people. But yeah, and then I realized I didn't tell you guys some of the makeup products that I was using. Like the powder and stuff. Okay, so for my face powder, I use the L'Oreal True Match um, powder in the color Soft Sable C6. To set my concealer, I use the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the color Translucent. It looks like this. What else didn't I show you guys? I didn't show you guys my contour. So for my contour, the thing is kind of dirty, so I'm just going to read it. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Powder Foundation in the color 375 Java. So this is what it looks like. That's what I use for my contour. Is there anything else I didn't show you guys? I told you guys what blush I was using. It's by LA Colors. I got this from the dollar store. It's in the color Toast. I think that's pretty much it for mascara. I use the Great Lash Maybelline New York Mascara for my eyelashes. These are actually like, I got them from a grocery store. They were only 83 cents and I just put them on the corners of my eyes. So it's not a full strip. It's actually just the ones that are on the corner. So yeah, and then I already told y'all my gloss. I told y'all the lip liner that I use so I think that is pretty much it um if there's anything that I didn't tell you guys and you want to know know whatever you want to know just comment down below but I think I pretty much mentioned everything that I use in the products so now I'm going to show you guys my outfit and that's going to be the end of the All right girl so here is the fit okay in the front it looks like a basic old red dress but when you turn to the side boom like look at that it's like a, a element of sexiness like i like that like from the front it's like okay she cute like you know cute little red dress like basic but then you turn to the side it's like 
bam this is my bag it's super cute i got this bag from shein um so yeah so this is the whole entire look this is the whole feel this is the whole vibe um i like it i think it looks real sexy real cute just like boom like here i am so this bag shein this dress is from shein okay and then these heels are also from shein i don't know if you guys can really see my heels they're white they're from shein um in case you guys don't know i'm actually a shein partner so a lot of my stuff is going to be from shein <laughs> nails shein my nails look kind of crazy but yeah nails are shein i just put on my little apple watch with the little diamond wristband i got this wristband from um amazon um i got this from a company a company sent me this bracelet and then for jewelry i just have on my cross i have on these little diamond earrings i don't remember where i got them from but yeah and then i have my anklets on my anklets are also this one is from shein this one i forgot so yeah this is my look this is my outfit of the night let me know what you girlies think what is it giving let me know down below guys and to end off this video i'm going to choose a perfume like a sin of the night i'm probably either going to smell like the carolina her hernandez or harina carolina harina good girl perfume this is by dossier this is this is inspired by that perfume this is the fruity almond i love this one i usually wear this one like when i go to an art museum or something where i feel like super businessy like super sexy very like classy i feel like this is a really good scent for that and then a new recent scent that i've tried this is the floral violet and this is inspired by the mark jacobs daisy i absolutely love this one i've been wearing this one down so this one smells very light and floral y and then this one has like that vanilla very sensual very like sexy so i feel like i might end up going with this or like a ysl perfume i also do have a discount code i also work with dossier as well but this video is not sponsored by dossier but yeah that's why i have so many dossier perfumes but yeah so i'm probably gonna end up wearing this one i feel like it just smells super good but before i spray it actually i think i'm gonna go with this one i feel like this is this vibe so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this on but yeah you guys this is the end of my get ready with me makeup hair and outfit edition i hope that you guys enjoyed this is my first time ever really filming a get ready with me in a long time i haven't done this since like high school middle school days so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know down below if you want me to do more of these kind of videos also put me on to some new products like your foundations and stuff let me know which ones you guys be using i also do plan on going makeup shopping soon i'm gonna do like a huge makeup shopping and a huge makeup haul so if you want to tag along for that let me know down below but yeah this is the end of today's video so don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias it'll be down below in the description box with the direct links thank you guys so freaking much for watching and of course as always i'll see you in my next video bye guys